Sibling rivalry is something that many of us have experienced, others have heard about, mm -hmm. and some have condemned in different ways. But it's an experience that people always talk about. And sometimes it's, it's as though there's never a real solution to this. Or where does the solution lie? Could it be parents, how they raise these children? <coughs> well, the reason why this is an issue today, or this is bringing to the fore, is because of the recent back and forth between Annie Idibia and her brother, her older brother. So, as I said, we'll, we'll, we'll establish it based on that, but our focus is not on them. The focus is being a younger person and having to fend for your older siblings or where both siblings are bringing their <coughs> dirty linens out to the public. Mm -hmm. When you think th this happens between spouses who have, who's, um, have, who's, whose rela relationship have gone south, but these are siblings. How do you just explain where siblings are fighting in public? Hmm. That's the conversation for us to discuss today. Yeah. Could you just establish this yeah, story? So I woke up this morning to uh, my Instagram feed and I saw a video of um, Annie's um, elder brother, Wisdom, complaining, lamenting, ranting about um, how Annie has treated, allegedly, treated him so far that he, she, she's refused to uh, allow him to be her manager. Uh, she's not uh, allowing him to take one of the cars. She's, he's been begging Annie to give him, you know, one of the cars so that he can do Uber to be able to help his family, feed his family and all that. And he's been working for Annie for so many years that he doesn't really, she doesn't really pay him his worth, you know, just uses him, turns him into an errand boy and that um, she's a drug addict. They do drugs together. She's very vicious. She keeps fighting her mother-in-law, her mother. Nobody can talk to her. Uh, she's, you know, against everybody. She's toxic. She's this, she's that, blah, 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 blah. Even says she I introduced took, him to drugs. Yes, they, that they do drugs together. So I took my time, I listened to the video, I finished all of his videos. On my way to work, I now saw Annie's response, where she was saying, ah, ah, how can you tell all these lies? You know, and I think it's been, uh, people have been advising her not to say anything, because according to the husband's response to that, we wish, we wish you love. There's nothing we can do, but we just wish you love. That People have been advising her not to respond, but some things cut deep. And it's family members that are actually uh, uh, are worst enemies, you know? Mm. So it seems like the husband and wife are in agreement when it comes to this particular issue. But what I got from there was this sense of entitlement. You know, some of us have brothers like this. Yeah, unfortunately. Mm. We can't call names, but we have them who feel that God has created you for them. Mm. Your job is to live and serve them for the rest of your life. You are not supposed to have any sense of happiness or do your own thing. Once you are making the money, with all the stress you're going through, just be handing it over to them. Mm. And when they make demands, you don't respond to them as fast as they want it without considering that you have your own family. You become a devil. You mm. become a wicked person. You become someone who has taken their glory. You, you just, they call you all sorts of names. It's just that some people have not brought their own on social media. Mm. But we have this in mm. our families and we know how painful it can be when somebody just sitting down there seeing all the hard work you're putting in <coughs> but decides to go and spoil you mm. because they made a request right. and you did not answer at the but time they wanted it. I would say if you are a successful sibling whether you're older or younger, if you can lift up your younger or older ones, please do it. Mm -hmm. But I do not think it is right for your younger or older sibling to demand or be, feel entitled. If I, if I make money, I don't, I, it, it's who I give. But such sense of entitlement is not just in families. It's in... Even uh, friendships. Every, all Nigerians we just feel... I'm an area boy. I see this person going to work every morning by six o'clock, and because I'm an in area boy, car. in her car, and her car, I don't have car, you, you have car. I feel that you must owe me. Mm. You owe me mm. for even having car. Even if you're waking up at six o'clock in the morning. Even if the car is low. To go to work. Even if the car was dash, mm. you have car. I don't. Please. Sorts me out. Sorts me out. And it's my entitlement. And if you don't, you're a wicked person. So that character has, it's, it's, uh, it's born a lot of fruit in Nigeria. Mm. So, so he, from, I, I, this is the first time I'm hearing about the story from Obiadu. He sounds 
like an ungrateful person. Mm. And I know there's something I used to say, you can choose your friends, you can't, you can't choose, choose your family. family. Mm. <laughs> you know, I know, I know instead of a woman who um, she did for her older brother, till he died, he never appreciated. She, she, she sent all his children to school. Mm. She took care of him, started, got him his first job. I mean, when this man told the stories, got him all the job he had till he died. He still blamed her mm. for all the shortcomings he had in his family. Yeah. Even her, she also tried the same thing for her siblings and her sister. She opened a bakery. She got the, the woman had never paid rent in her entire life. Ooh. This woman paid rent for her, opened a bakery. The bakery went, she ran it down. She opened a, um, a clothing store for her. She ran it down. She sent her children abroad. She did everything. At the end of the day, she was never appreciated. All she got was condemnation. Mm. And the man was telling me that, you know what, never, ever, just do your own for God. Yeah. Do it and just mm -hmm. don't even think of anybody coming to appreciate you. Just do it. And I think that's what we wrap up this conversation on. Whatever Anani has done to this person, do it and accept that you've done it. Yeah. He can say what he wants to say, but know you're, you've cleared your conscience that you've done your own role. If you're the oldest, you're the youngest, no matter what position you are, do what you have to do and then move on. And then shield your family from mm -hmm. these, ne these negative energies because you don't mm -hmm. want that negativity around your children. So, and for me, it's also about observing the sort of family members that you have. There are some people you need to love from a distance. Mm. There's no, it's not by force.